Uh, what exactly does this resolution and designation do? Basically, the resolution is written completely out of the Constitution, the Second Amendment. Every word, everything in this format has set forth from the Second Amendment. Uh, and, and basically what it, what it, what it, the short and long of the answer, and we've got that a lot, and, and there's a lot of misinterpretation out there, uh, and that's to be expected. Uh, we're, we're all not educated in some ways that we know the right answer. So, but in the short and long of it, this resolution is set forth so that if there was any deregulations of, of uh, disarming uh, U.S. citizens uh, when it come from, uh, from federal or being state, uh, the resolution protects our rights not to be um, as far as, how can I put this, um, gun laws themselves is one part that we that we have to follow every day but it takes this resolution to the point where we won't be disarmed uh being state level or federal level if regulations was to change uh to the point where they want to disarm every american citizen by changing gun laws and it leads up to you know 10 years 20 years or 30 years from now this resolution will protect the right to bear arms in Fort Fairfield. Is there a concern that, you know, guns might be taken away from people? Is that why this resolution? Absolutely is not. A absolutely not. I, I guess in one way it, it was, you know, it's like um, there's never a good time for anything. You know, we, we've had a rough and, and battled out election. Um, and it, it, it this comes along. It, it had nothing to do with, you know, oh, the Democrats are going to take our fight. No, absolutely not. Some of the Democrats has got some of the some of the best laws that we follow today uh, that that has been set forth, and we still follow them today. It just happened to be timing was right. Uh, the Amer the you know, our people in the community uh, have spoke and, and we, we looked at it uh, to bring this on and it happened after an election. Uh, and, and, you know, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get the, the pros and cons. Hey, we're human. That's what makes us human. But as far as, uh, you know, why this came out now, it has nothing to do with who's in uh, uh, power at the White House. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If uh, if it uh, election would have went for Trump, we still would have been following this through. This was in the works way before the election even came about. Okay. Uh, we're just looking ahead in our future and making sure that our children's children uh, will have the same rights uh, that we've had and our forefathers had and it's basically today, this resolution that we have is, is the Second Amendment. And we pretty much now waving a flag that's saying, hey, we're, we're a Second Amendment safe community. And like I said, it has no bearing on uh, any change of gun laws. We, we, we follow all the gun laws that are today and tomorrow. Uh, basically, it's just uh, given the town of Fort Fairfield, uh, a safe haven that uh, today, tomorrow, or 50 years into the future, that we will not be disarmed by this resolution. That's all it means. What um? What about you know some gun laws that are fairly new, um, like red flag laws? If someone is suicidal or violent, you know, is there someone in? Would would the gun still be taken away from that person in this scenario? Well, the the ATF right now has changed the 4473 forms dramatically, uh, which there again, that's good government. Uh, they work together uh, out of uh, Washington and, and the new laws that ATF set forth are brought up from you know, the representatives in Congress. And they're doing a great job on keeping uh, the questions asked to prevent somebody that has a medical uh mental 
condition uh, to keep them firearms out of their hands. And, and as I see the past three years, they've had two complete new forms made. And as of today, we have a new new form that we just started as of, uh, I believe, January 1st, uh, a new 4473 form that goes even further in detail of all the new uh, mental uh, conditions and medical conditions that now prohibit someone from owning a firearm. So they're working very hard to, you know, keep, keep our country safe. And as a, you know, gun dealer myself, we act under the act of ATF. Uh, we have to do our job also, um, you know, to prevent the, 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 and I, and I hate to say this, but the bad guy, you know, keep the gun out of the bad guy's hands. But, you know, it's, it's, it's today, tomorrow, the laws will come, the laws will go, we'll have to follow them. And we're not picking battles and making up new laws. Uh, we, 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 you know, stand as a community uh, with this resolution, Second Amendment safe, only stating that if in the future laws change uh, to uh, disarm American citizens, as long as this resolution is set forth in Fort Fairfield, uh, we, uh, we will not be disarmed. So the goal um, is to just not disarm people who are rightfully owning guns safely, no matter That's right. That's like right. That, that okay. is right. Yeah, the criminal that resides uh, in Fort Fairfield or somebody that has a, you know, a felon for a record, uh, you know, because of this resolution, they, they will not be able to still own a firearm. This resolution only pertains to anybody that is legally owned a firearm. That's, that's the way that resolution set up, yes. Okay. It has to follow every gun law uh, that is set forth today and tomorrow and in the future uh, and it only pertains to people that are law-abiding citizens that can uh, legally own a firearm. Okay. And yep. I just have two more questions for you. Um, have, has law enforcement in the area responded to this um, at all? You know, is this changing how they do their job or not necessarily? No, 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 not really. Um, I know I, I have a lot of uh, colleagues and friends that uh, for years have been in law enforcement. And uh, as far as, you know, how they look at this, uh, I can say that more of them were for it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I personally never had one law enforcement officer that knew about this, that uh, spoke negative in any way. Um, you know, law enforcement uh, in many ways, if gun laws are, are done, held to the fullest accountability, only preserve and help our law enforcement officers. Uh, the only ones that don't is the is the ones that illegally acted on. And of course, you know, but no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, I'll say this and say it again. I have been uh, in, in many offices that I've had to hold up an oath, been sworn in, and they're no different. I mean, any law enforcement uh, officer uh, takes an oath before he is hired and that raise your right hand and repeat after me and that's the that's the constitution the bill of rights um, so you know as long as the law abiding citizen is is uh, working uh, with the system and this resolution uh, it doesn't change anything federally or state that's already imposed with laws it 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 only upholding our constitutional right uh, for our future, uh, basically. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned at the beginning of our conversation that some other towns have reached out to you saying that they want the same resolution. What are the other towns? Uh, basically, I've had, uh, boys, to be accurate, I've had uh, Ashland, uh, I've had uh, Limestone, uh, I've had Caribou, uh, Madawaska, uh, 
the other day, emailed in copies, uh, which uh, there's some I checked this morning. I haven't even had time to to email them a copy of the resolution, but uh, pretty much I'm going to say, well, 50, 60 percent of our local communities have uh, called and uh, wanted a copy of it. So a Roostick yep. County, a lot of people in Roostick County. I, I see that. Yes, yeah. I see a lot, uh, a lot of response uh, in Aroostook County to uh, either uh, educate themselves on what we have and or uh, make up their own resolution. Uh, but, you know, what what people's got to really know, uh, state level and federal level, that this doesn't change absolutely nothing uh, for the gun laws that we have today. It's 110% still effective. We, as a resolution community, have to follow every federal law, state law. Uh, that That is not a subject. This does not change that. I know we, we've we been asked the question, uh, you know, well, you think you can make up your own gun laws now? Absolutely not. You know, it, it, the only thing that I've seen that has created, you know, subjects to talk about good and bad, which is good, that's that's what you get out of it, is only that people that aren't educated enough. Once they're educated on what we're doing and how it is, they'll understand that it doesn't change anything. And, and they're again, uh, politically free. It doesn't matter there again, if you're a Democrat, Republican, independent, uh, well, it doesn't, it, it has no bearing on that, any at all, no. Well, I will let you go. Thank you so much for your time today and 